Okay, so this is my next latest piece of original poetry. Um, yeah, this one is... Well, it came to me last night, and I wrote it in half an hour, but I kind of knew at some point that I would be... I, I, I would do a pride-based poem. But then I didn't want to make anyone feel like they were being left out. I did not want to make it feel like it was only inclusive to one set of people. So, I the theme of this one isn't necessarily the pride of one particular sexuality. It is why we still have it. Okay. Here we go. By the way, the music is um, the music is two steps from hell. Miracles or miracles from two steps from hell. Okay. There are those that dance on flags, on rainbow flags, trans flags, bi flags, all of our pride flags. Flags of many colors that represent different things to one another. To one, our pride. To others, tears cried. To some, a symbol, a sign of ignorant fear. Because being different is sin. Indifference is so clear. How far have we come? As society slips, becomes undone, our march powers on. The battle still remains far from won. Drag queens glassed with wigs snatched. Boys who love boys, girls who love girls. Yet boys and girls now with skulls cracked. Are we stepping forward or falling back? Banners left at the doors of Stonewall. The fires of the upstairs lounge burnt so tall. The gunshots echo silence for pulse. Hanging bodies of hidden lovers convulse. Why do they need pride? The sections of the crowd jeer indoctrinated to be snide. Because your love is not illegal. Your love is not lethal. Your sexuality is not in question. Your gender is not up for debate or dissection. But our ancestors didn't die for this, they quip. <laughs> I forgot freedom is only for the one holding the whip. What is freedom without an oppression? Nothing but a word. Why in this era is equality still so absurd? Why do we hate at a boy in a dress? Why do we judge at a girl with no breasts? How can someone else's life cause so much offense? The reason I still had to write these lines. While indoctrination exists into corrupted minds, pride was a riot, but kids are still forced into suicide. Why do we still let this happen? Why do we let another human die because of tradition taught lies? We are stronger when we are together. No matter our sexuality, we are human forever. Is love without judgment surely not better? While others still have the need to come out, faced with a hug or bigoted mouth, flipping the coin of respected or rejected when ancient laws are still so worthlessly protected. I'm a guy who likes guys. I sleep with guys and my soulmate will be a guy. But tell me why you hate me. Your basis, your reasons, are they truly your reasons or what you have been taught? Because hate is not born, it is taught. And contrary to what you might have been told, gay can't be caught. I dare you to tell me, and I'll hold up a mirror, and I'll show you why we still have pride. Whoever you are, wherever you are, your sexuality, your gender, your orientation, however you perceive yourself, that is yours to own and only yours to own. From this day on, be you and be you with pride. Thank you.